Hit bowls, what's going on? So we're kicking this off with a mindset tip. All right. Um, biggest problem, all trading is is mindset, okay? Everybody thinks of it as charts. Uh, what's the best technical indicators to use? Um, how do I trade earnings? Um, whatever the fuck else people think. Um, it just doesn't fucking matter. What matters is your mindset and how you think about this shit because at the end of the day, that's what's making your decisions for you. And the market's all about just making decisions, making the right decision at the right time, right? So let's go over some mindset that we had going on today just to, to use something present. Um, Apple, right? So Apple pulled back all the way to 144. It's got earnings coming up on the 27th. We entered this play last week when it was much lower than this. Um, yeah, so entered this play around 135, 138 range right here. So we swung it up to 140 and then we grabbed some 140, 155 spreads that we legged into. So we didn't pay that much for them. I think we got like a hundred bucks. So we had a good 500% return there. And then, um, so so 145 and everybody's like, oh man, I missed you know those last two plays if they didn't jump in then or maybe they did and they jumped out and they like the feeling. So they get addiction, it's like gambling, it's like cocaine. It's like, I got a little bit of this and I want a lot more. Uh, but that's how you lose it all, right? So you gotta snap that mindset. You gotta stop thinking about what shoulda, coulda, woulda been. You gotta stop thinking about the past. The only way that I think about the past when it comes to trading or anything really is what decision did I make? How could I make a better decision next time if it was a bad decision or if it was a good decision? How can I make a better decision next time? Or how can I continue to make these types of good moves, these types of good decisions, right? So what I see with people's mindset is they're always looking for the next best thing. They're always chasing things. They're always thinking about who's buying what, who else got in. Their friend then told them that, you know, SPCE is going to their moon. They got to launch this weekend, and if it goes off good, it's going to go to the moon for sure. The launch happened here. Okay. It was 50 when that happened. We played the rumor announcement, the news announcement. So they announced something in here. You know, we wrote it from 40 to 55 in there, and then we got out. Some people held too long because their mindset sucked and they were greedy and wanted to get rich and thought this baby was going to a hundred bucks. It's not. Okay. Then it pulled back. Maybe some people got out then because they were scared that it was going to continue to pull back. They would have maybe been right, but I would have waited and got out here because I'm patient, not a good mindset. <clears throat> Either way, it's sitting here, you know, before the launch this weekend and everybody's like, man, this thing is going to a hundred bucks if this launch goes off without a hitch. And I'm like, I have no clue where this thing's going if this launch goes off without a hitch. And I already made a good amount of money on it over the past two weeks. I'm not going to chase it. And, you know, that was after this good green day and everybody was going, oh, my buddy made this, my buddy made that, my buddy got in here. I saw this screenshot here. I saw this screenshot there. And they're wanting that success. They're wanting that feeling. They're wanting that rush. Um, it's just not the right mindset to be in trade. All trades must be logical. They must make sense. So that doesn't make any sense. Want, desire is weakness. It doesn't make sense. Um, so they announce an offering after the flight goes off without a hitch. That's, it popped up to 51 after, you know, with the flight doing good. Announced an offering and now we're, we're sitting pretty low here. And everybody that chased it and was FOMOing and worried about what they should have, could have, would have done on these big green bar days. Um, they're having a bad day and they're thinking, why me? Why does this always happen to me? And it's because when they look back at what's happened, they don't look back at their mistakes and analyze them. They look back and they think of uh, what could have, should have, would have happened. If I only would have done this, if I only could have done this. And the, the failure there, what they're not putting in there is that you could say that to literally every situation in the world and come up with a way to be right about the past, but you have no time machine, so you're fucked. All right. All you have with that information to do with it is to learn from the stupid shit that you did, 
So if you miss the play, you don't look at it now and think, oh, should I get in and try and catch the next play? No, you look at what happened here when it gapped up. You look at support levels. You look at resistance levels. You look at other similar times when this has happened. Was it a news event? Okay, do they sell the news? Do they buy the news? How do they rumor the news? How do they announce the news? You start analyzing all the details of the trade and trying to find these beforehand. That would be a way to think about, I should have, could have, would have. That's the only time you would ever think like that. But if you're just doing that because it's like, man, should I do this or should I do that? I'm not sure what I should do. Should have, could have, would have, I should have done this. I guess I should have done that. Well, next time I'll do this, but I should do that. And you're going to drive yourself insane. And you're going to stare at these screens all day. Um, I got people in the group who are not day traders. They're not scalpers, but they're staring at a screen all day. And I don't fucking understand it for the life of me because I'm staring at the screen under one condition only. And that is if I'm trying to get in or I'm trying to get out, I'm not going to sit around here. You know, when I get in a trade, I have a thesis. And if I no longer believe in that thesis is when I'm getting out of the trade. So people ask me, should I get out here? Should I get, it's crashing. Should I get out here? So Apple's a good example this morning. Everybody freaked out with this one. No, I don't care because my spreads were 140, 145 spreads expiring this week. So I'm not too worried about Apple. Um, it's a weekly, it's a great looking chart too. But so my, my spreads are playing out perfectly. Another reason, like, so I play spreads a lot more than other people, and that's because other people are often chasing illogical returns. So they'll buy the 145 Apple calls right here because they're cheaper. And if Apple goes to 150, they're going to get a 2,000% return. However, there's a solid chance it will stop right here. There's a chance it'll go to 152. But are you willing to flush that money down the toilet to play that chance? That's up to you. I'm not. Um, I do that with smaller plays, little plays. Little, I have gamble plays that I play. They're fun. You know, THCB down here, this is a, a SPAC merger that's happening. See, even my gambles have logic, but it's a SPAC merger and pull away from the moving average on a daily. It typically doesn't pull back towards that. Um, SPAC merger, merging with Microvast, some relative hype around it. I can see a touch of 15 again. Um, so this is one of my YOLO plays that I bought some 1250 calls for like 10, 20 bucks and just let it sit there and see what happened and it paid off. Plenty of other times that doesn't pay off. So that's how I play those YOLO plays. And I enter with the YOLO mentality. I understand that there is still logic behind it. Um, but I'm totally cool with losing all of that. And I'm totally cool with making a bunch of whatever happens, happens. I'm not worried about it. Um, some other good examples here. So the whole point of the mindset thing is you got to get out of the mindset of what you should have, could have, would have done. The only time you analyze your moves like that is if you're trying to make better decisions in the future, not to think about what you should have done in the past because you can't do shit about it. Move on. That's life. That's trade. And that's everything. All right. Um, well, I had some notes here as well. I wanted to jump into my center. I might as well knock it all out. So when you run into these problems with your trades, so let's say you're doing great. Whenever you're analyzing your trading and your behavior, you got to figure out what your problem is, why you're doing great or why you're doing bad. So is it emotional or is it logical? Are you trading off emotion? If you're trading off emotion, I'm trying to get rich. I need this for my family. I should have did this. Oh man, I'm, I'm excited. If you're feeling excited, overexcited about a trade, you're probably trading off emotion. If you're feeling angry, you're probably trading off emotion. If you're feeling sad, you're trading. If you're feeling anything when you're trading, you're trading off emotion. Trading should be completely logical. If I ask you, why did you enter a trade? You should be able to tell me exactly why and defend it to your death. All right. And if you exit a trade, you should be able to tell me why and defend that to your death. You shouldn't just do things just to do things, okay? That's how the joker works. It doesn't work. Right? I just do things. But uh, everything we do has logic to it. My spreads playing off. My non-greedy logical move spreads are paying off very well at Apple. And the greedy chaser emotional 145 call buyers are not playing out well. Like I said, they might. I wish the best for them. But it's not a risk I want to take. And I can't stand people coming to me bitching 
about my plays that I entered that I'm doing good off of that they're doing bad off of because they're trading emotionally and on impulse and greed and I'm trading off of logic and sound reasoning and no emotions. So if you trade with emotions, expect to have a bad time, get out of that shoulda, coulda, woulda mindset, snap into a mindset of logic. Should be your only mindset. You should be able to defend every trade to your death. And if you can't, you shouldn't be in that trade. Hope this helped y'all make some smarter decisions. If there's something specific that you have in terms of problems with mindset, whatever always gets in the way, let me know. And I'll be happy to make a video on to talk to you about it, work it out with you. Um, that's all I got for you right now. So, peace.